here we discuss the time harmonic maxwell equations in a simple non conducting and source free media so we have already seen the maxwell equations in a simple non conducting and source free media characterized by uh, sigma equal to 0 since the conductivity of the media is equal to 0 and uh, since the sources present where we are calculating the fields are also 0. So the corresponding Maxwell equations are given by del dot E is equal to 0, del dot H is equal to 0, del cross E is equal to minus mu dou h by dou t and del cross h is equal to epsilon dou e by dou t. So, here j is equal to 0 and uh, rho is also 0. So, under time harmonic case, the corresponding equations are given by del dot e is equal to 0, del dot h is equal to 0, del cross e is equal to dou by dou t is replaced by j omega minus j omega mu h and uh, del cross h is equal to j omega epsilon e. So, these are the time harmonic Maxwell equations in a source free, simple and non-conducting media. So now uh, we can uh, combine this equation using curls. So taking curls of uh, equation number 3, we can write del cross del cross E is equal to del cross j omega minus j omega mu h so minus j omega mu del cross h so curl of curl of a function as gradient of divergence of that function minus the laplacian of that function del square e is equal to minus j omega mu del cross h uh, from equation number 4 can be written as j omega epsilon e so this del dot e is equal to 0 so 0 minus del square e is equal to minus is here and j square is minus 1 minus minus is plus so omega square mu epsilon e or we can write del square e is equal to minus of this so del square e plus omega square mu epsilon e is equal to 0 so we have already seen that k is equal to omega root uh, mu epsilon and therefore omega square mu epsilon is k square the wave number square of the wave number so therefore del square e plus k square e is equal to 0. So this is the homogeneous vector Helmholtz equation for e. So similarly we can get the homogeneous vector Helmholtz equation for h by taking the curl of the time harmonic uh, source free Maxwell equation in a simple non-conducting media. So that uh, homogeneous vector Helmholtz equation for h is given by del square h plus k square h is equal to 0. So derive this equation. So this is an assignment for you. So we can directly get the homogeneous vector Helmholtz equations from the homogeneous vector wave equations del square e minus mu epsilon dou square e by dou t square is equal to 0 and del square h minus mu epsilon dou square h by 
dot t square is equal to 0. So, substituting uh, dot by dot t as uh, j omega, uh, we directly get uh, del square e minus mu epsilon j square omega square. So, dot square by dot t square is j square omega square e equals 0. So, del square e uh, j square is minus 1 minus minus plus mu epsilon omega square e equal to 0. Mu epsilon omega square e is equal to k square e. So, del square e plus k square e equal to 0. So, this is the homogeneous vector Helmholtz equation. So, we can directly get this uh, equation for h also del square h plus k square h is equal to 0 from the homogeneous uh, wave equations. So, the homogeneous vector wave equations reduces to homogeneous Helmholtz equations under time harmonic cases. So, now we can discuss the principle of duality. So, the principle of problem I turn a chay did another problem I didn't say. So the question is that show that if E and H are the solutions of source free Maxwell equations in a simple medium characterized by epsilon and mu, the permittivity epsilon and permeability mu, then also are E prime and h prime where e prime is equal to eta h and h prime is equal to minus e by eta where eta is equal to root of mu divided by epsilon the intrinsic impedance of the medium so if e and h are the solutions of the source free maxwell equations then e prime and h prime should also be the solution. So, we have to uh, show that uh, E prime and H prime are the solutions of the source free Maxwell equations in a simple medium under uh, time harmonic case. So, since E and H are the solutions of the source free Maxwell equations, they satisfy the source free Maxwell equations. So, we have prove that the E prime and H prime also satisfy the source free Maxwell equations in a simple medium. So, we know that E and H are the solutions and therefore they satisfy the Maxwell equations uh, in a simple non-conducting source free media which are given by del dot E is equal to 0, del dot H is equal to 0, del cross E is equal to minus J omega mu H and del cross h is equal to j omega epsilon e. So, these are the uh, source free Maxwell equations, time harmonic Maxwell equations in a simple medium. So, now we have to prove that uh, del dot e prime is also 0, del dot h prime is also 0 and del cross e prime is minus j omega mu h prime and del cross h prime is equal to j omega epsilon e prime. So, that means that e prime and h prime also satisfy the Maxwell equation so that e prime and h prime are the solutions of this Maxwell equation. So, del dot e prime is equal to del dot eta h e prime is eta h. So, eta times del dot h. So, we know that uh, from this equation, uh, so we can uh, number this 1, 2, 3, 4. So, from equation number 2, del dot h is 0 and therefore, del dot e prime is also 0. Then, del dot h prime. So, h prime is minus e by eta, del dot minus e by eta. So, minus 1 over eta del dot e. So, from equation number 1, del dot e is already 0 and del dot h prime is also 0. So, now we can find out del cross e prime. 
so del cross e prime is equal to del cross eta h where uh, it has a constant and can be taken out eta times del cross h so from equation number 4 del cross h is equal to j omega epsilon e so eta times j omega epsilon e this is the Maxwell equation the solution formula. This is the right side h prime in the term. j omega mu h minus minus j omega mu h prime. So for that we have to multiply the RHS by eta by eta. So eta by eta is 1. So we have uh, eta square j omega epsilon eta by mu so minus eta by mu is uh, h prime so eta by mu is minus h prime so eta square j omega epsilon into minus h prime so we know that eta is root of mu by epsilon and therefore eta square is mu divided by epsilon j omega epsilon minus is here h prime so we have epsilon get cancelled and minus j omega mu h prime so del cross e prime is equal to minus j omega mu h prime so this is nothing but uh, the equation number three where e and h replaced by e prime and h prime so similarly we can find del cross h prime which is equal to del cross minus e by eta which is 1 over eta into del cross e so from equation number 3 we have uh, del cross e is equal to minus j omega mu h so plus 1 over eta j omega mu h so del cross h prime in the e prime in the term ledanam. so we have to multiply the equation by eta by eta so eta h is e prime and therefore we get uh, 1 over eta square j omega mu e prime so 1 over eta square is uh, 1 over mu by epsilon which is epsilon by mu j omega mu e prime so mu will get cancelled we have uh, j omega epsilon e prime so del cross uh, h prime is j omega epsilon e prime so this is nothing but the equation number uh, 4 uh, replaced by uh, where e and h replaced by e prime and h prime so uh, we can say that e prime and h prime also satisfy the source free Maxwell equations in a simple media. So therefore E prime and H prime are also solutions of the source free time harmonic Maxwell equations in a simple media. So this shows that the source free Maxwell equations in a simple medium are invariant under the linear transformation specified by E prime is equal to eta times H and H prime is equal to minus e by eta so this principle is called the principle of duality that means the source free maxwell equations are invariant under the linear transformations given by this e prime is equal to eta h and h prime is equal to minus e by eta so this principle is the consequence of the symmetry of the source free maxwell equations in a simple medium so the uh, maxwell equations in a source free medium are symmetric del dot e equal to 0 and del dot h is equal to 0 del cross e equal to some constant into h and del cross h is equal to some constant into e so they are symmetric and therefore they obey the principle of duality okay thanks